Hello, and welcome back to the Southern Bible Thumper channel. For this upload, we will be reading Numbers chapter 9. And the Lord spake unto Moses in the wilderness of Sinai in the first month of the second year after they were come out of the land of Egypt, saying, Let the children of Israel also keep the Passover at his appointed season. In the fourteenth day of this month at even he shall keep it in his appointed season, according to all the rites of it, and according to all the ceremonies thereof shall ye keep it. And Moses spake unto the children of Israel that they should keep the Passover. And they kept the Passover on the fourteenth day of the first month at even, in the wilderness of Sinai, according to all that the Lord commanded Moses, so did the children of Israel. And there were certain men who were defiled by the dead body of a man, that they could not keep the Passover on that day. And they came before Moses and before Aaron on that day. And those men said unto him, We are defiled by the dead body of a man. Wherefore are we kept back? that we may not offer an offering of the Lord in his appointed season among the children of Israel. And Moses said unto him, unto them, Stand still, and I will hear what the Lord will command concerning you. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, If any man of you or of your posterity shall be unclean by reason of a dead body, or be in a journey afar off, yet he shall keep the Passover unto the Lord. The fourteenth day of the second month at even they shall keep it, and eat it with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. They shall leave none of it until the morning, nor break any bone of it. According to all the ordinances of the Passover they shall keep it. But the man that is clean, and is not in a journey, and forbeareth to keep the Passover, even the same soul shall be cut off from among his people, because he brought not the offering of the Lord in his appointed season. That man shall bear a sin, and if a stranger shall sojourn among you, and will keep the Passover unto the Lord, according to the ordinance of the Passover, and according to the manner thereof, so shall he do. Ye shall have one ordinance, both for stranger, and for him that was born in the land. And on the day that the tabernacle was reared up, the cloud covered the tabernacle, namely, the tent of the testimony, and at even there was upon the tabernacle, as it were, the appearance of fire, until the morning. So it was all way. The cloud covered it by day, and the appearance of fire by night, and when the cloud was taken up from the tabernacle, then after that the children of Israel journeyed, and in the place where the cloud abode, there the children of Israel pitched their tents. At the commandment of the Lord, the children of Israel journeyed, and at the commandment of the Lord they pitched. As long as the cloud abode upon the tabernacle, they rested in their tents. And when the Lord tarried long upon the tabernacle many days, then the children of Israel kept the charge of the Lord, and journeyed not. And so it was, when the cloud was a few days upon the tabernacle, according to the commandment of the Lord, they abode in their tents, and according to the commandment of the Lord, they journeyed. And so it was, when the cloud abode from even unto the morning, and that the cloud was taken up in the morning, then they journeyed. Whether it was by day or by night that the cloud was taken up, they journeyed. Or whether it were two days or a month or a year that the cloud tarried upon the tabernacle, remaining thereon, the children of Israel abode in their tents and journeyed not. But when it was taken up, they journeyed. At the commandment of the Lord they rested in the tents, and at the commandment of the Lord they journeyed. They kept the charge of the Lord at the commandment of the Lord by the hand of Moses. And summarizing Numbers chapter 9. So, this chapter starts out letting us know that the first month, this is the second year and the first month of the Moses and the Israelites being out of Egypt. So we left Egypt in Exodus chapter 12. So Exodus is 40 chapters, Leviticus is 27 chapters, and now we are on Numbers chapter 9, and this has been two years. The first year, the first month of the second year. So God is talking to them because, or God is talking to Moses because he's reminding him, Okay, so the 14th day is coming up, and we want you to celebrate, I want you to celebrate the Passover. And so um, he told the people of Israel that they should keep it, and um, he says that at the 14th day, they did, at, they did what the Lord commanded to Moses. So then, in verse 6 to 7, there were some men who had been defiled by a dead body, and they were ceremonially unclean. So they asked Moses if they should participate. And God says that, or God says, Moses says that I'll ask God and I'll let you know. And so, you know, the Lord spoke to Moses in verse 9 and 10 and tells them that um, 
defiled people or people who are traveling should still honor this honor this occasion I just want to see something because I wrote something down in my notes that okay because I wrote down they shall keep the Sabbath but nothing on here says the Sabbath so I don't know why I wrote that here I have to question my own writing ability and what I've read so people who are traveling should still honor the Passover and eat unleavened bread with bitter herbs. So um, dietary restriction yet again. God also tells them don't leave any of the food until the next day. Don't break any bone of the animal according to the Passover. And the first time the Passover was mentioned was in Exodus chapter 12. And so... The Passover was a feast, and that was to celebrate them getting out of Egypt, and it was supposed to commemorate that experience. And so God laid out specific rules about how he wanted it to be honored, and then he bought them out of Egypt. Verse 13, if a person without extenuating circumstances, meaning he's clean and he's not traveling, if this person refuses to keep the Passover, he will be cut off from his people, and he'll be guilty. Verse 14, any stranger living among you must keep the Passover as well. Verse 15, on the day the tabernacle was set up, the cloud covered it, and particularly the tent of testimony. In the evening, the tabernacle had the appearance of fire until the morning. Verse 16, from then on, cloud covered it by day and fire at night. And verses 17 through the end of the chapter, 17 through 22, is just kind of saying the same thing, or it's the Israelites journeyed and camped at the commandment of the Lord, and the Lord was manifesting through this cloud. So when the cloud stopped over the tabernacle, the Israel, you know, Israel didn't travel, Israel followed the cloud day and night. So basically this was re-emphasizing that the Passover is coming up. God wanted the Israelites to participate. Some guys had some questions about if they could or not. Moses asked God. And then they followed God's manifestation as a cloud to travel. So that was Numbers chapter 9. Thank you for watching. The next upload will be Numbers chapter 10. Have a good day.